Let's start Hacker Replay. 133 is what I said it was. Very first one is on Clubhouse. This is a cheat or like a, a situation we have seen before, but I kind of wanted to showcase it again to, you know, really drive home the point of what a problem this is. So in this match, we have Mick Jagger, who is accusing the entire enemy team. And now something you guys might have noticed, at least those watching not on TikTok, is that three people on the enemy team have the names ZZ Up, and then it's like ZZ Up 18, ZZ Up 19, ZZ Up 20. We have yet again another case of someone playing on multiple accounts at once, but cheating on one of them and boosting like the other three. This has become more and more of an issue. I don't know what happened recently but now for some reason cheaters are like just blatantly cheating and then boosting three accounts to probably sell them and this is just like just a standard game they're boosting them i assume to level 50 to sell them um i don't know which one exactly is the cheater i would assume it's probably not one of the zz up guys because i assume he's on eight account 18 account 19 account 20. all right so this guy we can already tell like he boosts an account to level 50 and then stop playing on it, right? Level 49, stop playing on it. So, the benefit of him doing this the way he's doing it is now I will be able to report all of these accounts to Ubisoft because he named them the way that he did. If he didn't name them like 0 to 20, we wouldn't really have much of a link. But because he was really fucking stupid and he named them all ZZ up 18, 19, 20, 17, 16, 15, 14, all that. I can get all of those accounts banned, which is good. But anyways, let's actually watch and see. I'm going to guess it's probably the SSSXD guy who's the one cheating. I know he's running all of these accounts, but I don't know which one is the, the blatant cheater. Okay, it looks like it's IQ. That is the, the main account. I assume killbox and probably like insta-kill everything. So yeah, he has... These four accounts just moving around, trying not to get banned, and then this account. I can't tell if he has... No, he does have the full aimbot. Okay. So, obviously cheating. We all know that. And then the four AFKs together. I'm curious how he ends up losing two rounds when he's blatantly cheating like this. You can obviously see traps. Because he knows where the traps are going to be. Like he basically re-aimed that frost mat. In case you guys haven't seen it, I, I've, I've seen it on Twitter when people will like post about it. There's a, a cheat that will just constantly like ping gadgets at all times. So you know where like frost mats are, where cap can traps are, so you can always break them before you run into them. At the very least, he has to lose two rounds between three to five. He doesn't get team killed, obviously, because he's running all four other accounts. Like, traps aren't going to work, because, like I said, he knows where all the traps are. Okay, he... Wait, oh. Clash actually... Wait. Back that up. Clash actually managed to kill IQ. Huh. But he just pre-fired. I mainly want to watch these rounds to see if he loses so that I can try to at least inspire people to still try against cheaters. I know it can be very demotivating when you're dealing with cheaters, but sometimes you can at least win a few rounds on them. 
ultimately, as it is a waste of time, but... So, okay, so he loses the next round. He has the cheat where basically, like, when you shoot, all the pellets will go concentrated as, like, a slug. Oh, he walked into Lion and died by accident. This guy's killing all of those, and then... <laughs> Lion's trying to kill them, and the, the cheater was not paying attention, just walked into it. Okay, well, and then he wins the next round, unfortunately. So this guy himself, I tweeted about this yesterday because we faced someone with a 15 KD. This guy himself has a 21 KD. He's not trying to hide it at all. He's been cheating pretty blatantly, and let's see how long he's been doing it. It doesn't show because I forgot match history is kind of bugged out. Um, but yeah, he, he don't care. Oh, unfortunately, Ubisoft doesn't seem to care that much because they're not banning people with a 21 KD. I understand that stat bans can be a little iffy and not always accurate, but I think if you can maintain anything above a 4 KD over the course of 25 matches plus, your account should be locked and then Ubisoft should investigate it. Not even pros, not even the best players in the world with a 5 stack have KDs that high. I think the highest KD of like a pro who plays a lot is not even 2.0. I could be wrong, but once you play like, once you play over 100 games, it's like impossible to have over a 2 KD. Because there will be matches, like even if you go one match even, that just drops your KD so much. So luckily since that guy named all of his accounts and like, uh, in like an iterative way, I can report all of them and all of his old accounts that he probably sold will all get banned as well. On the plus side, even though it sucks that he's cheating blatantly like this, we managed to either cost him a ton of time or possibly cost him a ton of money. Because chances are he was going to sell all of those accounts for like, I don't know, a few bucks. And he he probably spent like at least... 30 hours boosting 20 plus accounts. So if we get them all banned, he just lost a shit ton of money and a shit ton of time. So, dub. The only bigger dub than that is that you can get the Varsity Gaming Charm today for free with Twitch Prime. If you don't have Twitch Prime, you can use $5, but just find anyone in your family with Prime, link it to your Twitch account, and it's free. So make sure to sub today. Next one is Theme Park. Now in this match, it'll hopefully be less obvious, but they did, they did accuse a lot of people. In this match, we have Lee, Pantalo and Mesos Barat who are accusing Take My Ash, there they are, Poker Lily, and Chichi.txm. Since three of them are being reported, it's probably gonna be pretty obvious. But we'll try and see if uh if we can find anything. Maybe maybe you know it's a bit subtle, maybe maybe they're not cheating. They're probably cheating. It's siege, let's be honest here. There's like a 50% chance if you accuse anyone of cheating that you're right. 50%. The first person they accused was Take My Ash, so we'll watch them initially. They did look down at the thorn, but it was like a very brief pass by. I'm sure that part was fine. He's droning more than I would expect a supposed cheater to drone. Everything just like fast forwarded there. What just happened? This might look a little buggy because I think it was like lagging when this happened. Chi Chi was one of the accused. Very laggy when that happened, but that kill looked fine. He swung. Got the kill. Bro, Lee Pantalo. Get better internet. It is it is laggy watching this. Poker Lily, or yeah, Lily is the other one who got accused. This kill will probably also be laggy. Yeah, 
I I don't know what to make of that. It looked like they snapped to the head, but I think it was just lag. If the entire match is like this, we might have to just skip this one. Because the match replay is based off of... I, mm, I don't know. I'm a little hesitant to call this possibly cheating just because of how laggy it's been. It's like, you know. Could it be... Could it be cheats or could it be lag? Because look, right here, he goes to shoot the warden, but he's not pinging the warden, so watch. I think he pings, who's that, well, my? And you can't see warden at all here, but then he tries to shoot at him through the wall. But this whole match has been laggy, so do we assume it's lag or do we assume it's cheating like he's right there at least continuously following them through the wall at least for a little bit or I mean, he could be holding the angle right that was his first pre-fire where he wasn't actually aiming at someone through a wall the other pre-fires were on the warden where he was perfectly aiming at him and now that it looks like it's not lagging as much, it seems a bit more normal. Bro's got 25 seconds, doesn't know what to do. Hmm. I feel like if he was cheating, he would have, you know, reacted to the Wumai swinging him there. I think the last game as well, the the text was in Portuguese. I think that was in Portuguese. Alright, let's keep watching. She died. I was one of the accused. Take my Ash got a kill, but that looked normal. Getting stuttery again. Everyone else that got accused keeps dying super quickly. Take my ash is the only one who's living longer than like a minute. What is the shield setup? Why would you have a shield? What? That seems like such a bad spot for a shield. Wait, what? Where'd they come from? I swear there's no outline. Oh, okay, they're right behind the bomb. You can barely see them. It's so stuttery. I can't tell. Like, I can't tell if that was a suspicious shot or if, like, maybe he saw more than we did. For, like, a millisecond, he aimed at Legion, even though the ping hadn't, like, updated. But that wasn't that suspicious. Everyone's cheating. Again, like I said, there's like a 50% chance that if someone gets reported for cheating that they're probably cheating. This one I'm kind of, I don't, I don't know about that. It's an eight round match though, so we got a lot to watch. I know people get impatient. They're like, just move on to the next one. He's clearly not cheating. Have you guys ever heard of someone toggling? Happens all the time. So we'll make sure. The only way I ever skip ahead is if I'm like, this is so obvious that like, absolutely no way they could be cheating. In this case, I'm like, I can understand why they think this person might be cheating with some of their weird lineups. But it's also hard to tell with the leg. Like in round two was? No, round one. When uh, 
he was just aiming at Warden through the wall, pre-firing him. But it was it lag or was it cheating? I don't know. He's also droning more than I would say like a normal cheater would drone. I feel like if he was a cheater, he would probably not drone any of this and just walk in, right? Just looked at his teammate through the wall. Clearly cheating. Like, was that lag or was that a, a, like a cheat flick? I, I think that was lag. But it's like every single time he's about to get a kill, it lags. It's like it's just super convenient that it's always when he gets a kill. It's so annoying. It makes it like impossible to actually tell anything. Basically everything that could have been considered cheats or like it probably was just lag. That kill was fine, by the way. Well, oh, Chi-Chi just got the last two kills. That was another accused person. Let's see. Flashes. Good pre-fire. That looked weird. That's fine. Kind of like ran into it. Let me let me see what the file says. Okay, all he says is just there. The three of them are cheating and says round six. Goyo, lol. I guess let's let's go to round six. Let's find out what he's lolling about. Take my ashes at eight and three. By the way, Chi Chi and Poker Lily are negative. The fuck is he doing? He's not even staring at, like, somewhere people will come from. Oh. Well, he did there. Okay. I'm starting to understand why he would accuse him. Because he did kind of follow him through the wall and then shoot at him. Let's see if he does anything else. Action, but he missed. Oh, that's it. Okay, so it was just that. I can understand if you died to that. I probably would be like, yeah, that guy's probably cheating. He just followed me through the wall. But he's also three and six. So it's like, uh, if he was cheating, I feel like he'd be doing better. Let's watch it again. See if there's any reason to be dismissive of this. Okay, so he's just holding. Like he's holding the wall. By the way, like. No, no one can appear here. They can appear from the right on the metal thing or on the left of the barrels. And he's just staring at this. He moves over to the, like, back and forth. And then he looks back and, like, he happens to follow them perfectly. I can understand why they would accuse them. Do I think they're necessarily cheating off the... Uh, one instance is enough to to sway me, you know? But the fact that he's 3 and 6... Like, I feel like if you're cheating... You should be higher than that. But we've also seen some really bad cheaters. I actually... I guess to play devil's advocate that he could still be cheating while ne negative... I had a teammate... What was it, like 3 weeks ago? who was blatantly cheating and like walling and maybe aimbotting and he only went like two and one. Like a lot of cheaters don't do too much. We know Goyo dies. I'll watch maybe the rest of it from his perspective and see if anything else happens. The take my ash guy gets a lot of kills but at least from what we've seen none of them seem too suspicious. The annoying thing is that every single time he gets a kill uh, it lags. Could you imagine if this guy just fucking starts like spinning and killboxing people? People on TikTok chat would still say he's innocent. Yeah, this guy boring to watch. Just staring at a wall. Okay, so he swings cash. He does look there, but then looks away as the Brava was it? Nomad? 
IQ, IQ, peaks. I feel like if you're cheating, you probably would be paying attention to that IQ, but instead he looks away, licks back, and tries to shoot. We're gonna rewind that again. I wanna see one thing. We're gonna play it in slow motion. So he looks away, licks back, snaps back to reality. He peeks. I guess here he sees her neck, so he's like, okay, she's crouched. And then he aims, like, crouch level headshots her. He can see a part of her, so we have to give it to him that it, like, it's not too suspicious that he would change his aim. Because I was going to say, if he, like, adjusted his aim without seeing her at all, then probably cheating. But he didn't, so... Also, this is a very random question, but I just thought of it. Does a dock stim disable in a Rooney gate? I assume not, because I don't think it's considered a projectile. I think it's considered a bullet. So, the Chi Chi guy is on cams. He on that cam? He gets pinged. A fine kill. I guess they just don't destroy cams. I don't know. I think he's fine. I think that one kill in round six, very suspicious. But he hasn't really done much else, so. Oh, now he goes Monty. God, it's lagging again. Monty, ban him. Is he supposed to be seeing anything here? I assume not. Yeah, okay. I hate that, that thorn gadgets, the thorn gadget was above the door, up there, and somehow it hit Monty outside. I hate that that's a thing. I've been victim to that a few times, and it's always annoying. On the Wamai's part. Alright, last well, one's in vault. Okay. Uh, all three of the accused people died trying to swing him. I don't know, I don't think they're cheating. Again, I, th I think that one round. I, I agree, round six was weird. That Goyo tracked him through the wall. Or like happened to walk or aim alongside him. Do I think they're cheating? Um, maybe not. Let's look up stats and see what they say. Ochre, Lily. Uh, they're Diamond 4 with a 0 0.86 KD. They have been champ four times with a negative KD every single time. Ever since rank 2.0, their KD has been negative. I want to say being champ with a negative KD is suspicious, but I know some people get carried there. For example, look at Cross. He's gone champ a few seasons now, and he always has like a 0 0.8, 0 0.9 KD. Probably fine. Take my Ash. Ranked uh, Diamond 5 with a negative KD. Negative last season, positive seasons before that. Before rank 2.0 was negative and positive. Mixed results. That's fine. And then chichi.txm. The fuck? What is a... Benin? Is that a country? Champ, 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 diamond, emerald. Negative KD here, but positive everywhere else, and it's barely negative, it's 0 0.99. Oh, I, I think they're fine. I didn't see anything crazy suspicious. I'm sure we could have put a lot more work into that, like watching every single person with every single kill, and also watching every single round. We skipped, I think, three rounds, but I think he was fine. People can disagree with me if they want, but I think they were fine. Okay, uh, next match. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like they'd be using stern mode if they were cheating. I disagree. I've been facing a lot of cheaters who don't use stern mode because they just know they won't get banned, so they don't care about running stern mode. Um, okay, in this match we have I'm Sweet Thanks, who's accusing God sent aimer. I am willing to make a bet right now with chat. Five dollars or five gifted subs on Twitch chat. Bet this person's cheating. Why? They're running observation blockers on Alibi. That means they have like a default loadout and they didn't change it. All 
I'm that confident that they're cheating. This vigil and alibi are just like... Okay, no, she, uh, the alibi is cheating. You guys not see that? How she just shot at the drone? Like she was holding the angle on vigil and then just flicked to the drone the millisecond it appeared. Look. She's aiming at vigil, aiming at vigil, and then just flicks to the drone and locks onto it. Alright, so Alibi is cheating. So, remember how last round, or at the beginning of this, we said um, a lot of cheaters don't run stir mode? This is one of them. God sent Aimer, he's not running stir mode, he doesn't care that people know that he's cheating. He will blatantly cheat. I don't know if these two are together, or if they, like, if he just knows that they're cheating. I don't know. But yeah, he's like literally just staring at them through the walls right now. Trying to see where he should go. Yeah, he, he's cheating. I wonder this goes to seven rounds. I assume. I think this guy is not with him. He probably was in the previous match and he's like, God's and Aimer's cheating. Team kill him. Yeah, at least has walls. I don't think he has much else, though. Run past Maverick, bro. First off, both of them. How did they not react to each other? Also, uh, Alibi does have like a recoil control cheat, where their recoil is nothing. I noticed that when they were shooting at Vigil, when they were shooting, it was like. I know when you go like horizontal spray, you can be like, oh, it's a straight line. Like this was actually just a straight line. I don't know what happened there. I assume, yeah, multiple team kills. He's 13 and four. Not hiding it at all. Somehow it's Alibi Elite skin. So probably a stolen account, I would guess. Uh, they got banned today for cheating. It says right here. I don't know if TikTok chat can see that. Out of two KD and ranked uh, level 64. They probably purchased the account from someone who boosted it up or stole the account. All right, match number three, done. Now we're going back to another clubhouse match where we have Baljeet. Ball. Uh, Baljeet, who's accusing, I miss her. You can already tell that they're cheating because only a cheater would pretend to have a, an ex-girlfriend. Clash was banned by the accusing team. Not can banned by the attacking team. Been noticing a lot of cheater teams banning Capcan instead of Clash. Oh yeah, he's cheating. Just blandly cheating. But, did you guys know that this is actually what the gameplay looks like when Peter plays Doka B Boss G? People would actually accuse him of cheating because he just lands them up and one taps them. Do they get an ace? Assume they do. That's four. That's funny, as a cheater, uh, they don't know the mechanic with Doka Beat. You can put away the tablet before like you do the full animation, so you can save yourself like one second. You don't have to sit there holding the tablet forever. Um, also, I am going to assume, I think that the cheater is going boss G specifically, because if you hit boss G in the chest, I think it always downs. It doesn't do enough damage to insta-kill. So I think 
he's intentionally playing boss G to down people so they can't see the kill cam. Which is quite the play. It's like when people go cav and then they just like dick around instead of showing the kill cam. Uh, this goes to nine rounds? Bro, like they're blatantly walling and pre-firing people with a, or I guess not pre-firing, but like lining people with a boss G and this goes to nine rounds? Unbelievable. Oh, he got four kills in round one and has only gotten four kills in the four rounds after, averaging one kill per round. Interesting. They are down two to three, so I'm going to take or go on a limb here and guess that he probably goes at least somewhat blatant this round to guarantee that they go to overtime. If they go out of the way to hide kill cams, I'm not surprised they drew out the game. I don't know if they drew it out or if it was just like... I just died. I should look at it, but... We'll see. We'll see if I care enough to go back and look at it. Shoot a drone there? Holy shit. Bro, he... He lined them up through the wall. The other person can't even see them. And then they whiffed. How do you whiff when you have blatant walls and know where they are? That's actually crazy. How bad do you have to be? Thinks he can get an angle there. I'm curious if he's queued with anyone. Because it would make it easier to hide it if you could be like, hey, someone's over here, pre-fire this. Let's see who wins. Cheater. Or not cheater. Uh, cheater only got three more kills in the last two rounds of overtime. They got one kill to put them at nine in round six, I believe. I was really hoping there'd be a frost map they'd run into or jump into. They haven't landed a single shot, even though they're blatantly following them through the wall. Their aim. So bad. They're on way too high of a sensitivity. I think that's the problem. Wait, what? That was not a headshot. He missed. He completely whiffed. They gave it to him as a headshot? Bro hit the metal bars. And he got a headshot. Maybe he has soft aim. Basically makes it where you, the game ignores where your bullet actually goes and just forces it on their head. I assume he, for sure, just like tracks him through the wall here because he's not going to let them lose in a, in a 1v2 at match point. He knows that Thorn is just hiding behind the bomb, so he's... He Ash charged her, like he hit her in the leg, did 50 damage, but Thorn did 60 to her. I like how they red pink to try to... Help, bros. Just straight up tracking him, anyways. Lesion, stop peeking, bro. Always concerns me when I I watch people face cheaters. I'm like, yes. if you stop peeking, how much easier. He doesn't know how to vault through that hole. You gotta go on top of the table. Aw. Unfortunate. Cheater won. They did not use stir mode. As I've said now multiple times in this stream, these cheaters don't care about being found out. They don't use stir mode. 
I underscore dot miss underscore her dot. Um, they are level 145. Bro has been playing for five seasons, and I think only reached plat this season because they downloaded cheats. They were silver, gold, silver, gold, and then only just got plat now. I had to download straight up just walls and possibly soft aim just to make it to plat. That's a little sad. Like, I guess I take making it to plat for granted, but like, plat is probably one of the easiest ranks to reach. It, it doesn't take any effort at all. I think I'm in plat 3 right now. I've, I think I've only played like 20 games or 25 games, and I'm still gaining like 100 per match. I uh, played 30 games. The fact that he has to cheat just to get to plat is a little sad. Next match, match number five we're gonna watch is Canal. I don't know if we'll have as blatant wall hacks as that one, but there's one questionable name in this lobby, but it's not, I don't know if it's so bad I have to skip it or not. I don't know. In this match we have VMP, who is not in this game, who's accusing Dragon and OUC. They might be the Maverick, and they forgot to submit their stir mode name. Okay, so it is Maverick. Maverick's the one who submitted it. Or they said that OUC was queued with Dragon, but the main person they're accusing is Dragon. But he died this round without getting a kill. Uh, while we wait for him to do anything, thanks for sub kooky boss. I think we're getting close to... I think we're on our way to 2300 subs. Chat has been subbing a lot recently. I appreciate it. Okay, that was weird, but I guess not blatant cheating. He l was acting like he heard Mozzie, which is possible, because Mozzie was, like, standing slow walking, so it makes some noise, but their aim was just so bad. Like, they were aiming at nothing and then waiting for Mozzie to push. This could be a case of toggling, though. Like, if they start losing 0-2, he might just be like, all right, time to spin bot. He does look lost. Every time, like, a window breaks, he's like, oh, shit, that's a window. But he's got black ice on the C8 somehow. I assume he doesn't want to jump in because he sees the person on the staircase staring at him. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, he, he knows that Doc is... I think he is cheating. He, like, was basically looking at him before he even threw the drone. Throws in the drone and just flicks straight to the staircase to look at him. And now he kind of, like, looked at Mozzie. I think he's cheating. We'll obviously wait till we get, like, definitive proof, but... The way he's moving and aiming and positioning himself strikes me as a cheater. Like, he literally just stared down at the tunnel. Oh, no, he has, like, soft aim or something. Bro, he, had a, he got a headshot there. He aimed at his toes. Okay, it went up to his arm. That's a headshot, apparently. Bruh. He definitely has something. say he's a new player based on how he's moving he's moving like as if he's never seen this map before and as if he's never aimed in siege before like what is he what is he doing here he's aiming at walls and just aiming up he doesn't he doesn't know what he's doing because everyone else is on drone i guess i might as well go on drone not on controller, is he? That would explain his, like, weird, like, swaying movement. 
The only reason I say that is because it took him so long to like get that pinpoint accurate ping for the Valk. Like he kept slowly moving, and I've, I also noticed his drone movement felt like a little joysticky, but could be just looking too much into that. Well, it feels like he's a controller player. That was a headshot. He aimed at the body as well. I don't know it eventually went up to the head, but I think it went to the head after the guy died. Both his kills have been headshots, even though he aims at, uh, like, hip level. So the shot from here got a headshot here. I know people will probably try to argue that it's ping. But I've seen soft aim enough on enough different people that I'm... I'm Willing to bet it's that. The first shot killed him. Second shot was up here. Oh, I, 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 I think he has some type of soft aim. What? What is bro aiming at? He keeps aiming at the ceiling. Also, am I crazy? I didn't see Chad. Like. This does look kind of like a controller play, right? Like, I'm not crazy for that. I don't think it is. Uh, actually, he hasn't hip leaned once. Every time he unaims down sight, it automatically makes him lean straight up. So I, he, he could be, he could be on a controller without the new hip leaning function because you have to manually turn that on. In that movement, no, I think that's controller. I don't think you can, you can't move that slow on PC with the mouse and keyboard. That is 100% controller. That was that, okay, no. He has soft aim. He aimed two feet to the right of him and got a headshot. He has gotten, how many now? CC. He has gotten three headshots. While not even aiming close to them. He shot here! Okay, no, that one... Okay, that one you could argue was actually on his head. It finally moved over. I think that shot was the one that killed him. That's the only one so far that I would say it was like somewhat legit. The other ones were way off and he still got headshots. CC, do you want some attention real quick in the middle of hacker replay? CC, watch and learn. Because this will be your career one day. Watching hacker replays. She loves it. Look, CC, this is what a cheater on a controller looks like. Are you learning? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep watching because like, I feel like we need more definitive proof, but... So 100% this guy is on controller. You can tell by his movement and his like swaying aim that he's on controller. I know people are going to be like, oh, like you're just shit talking or whatever. No, we've seen this before. People actually use controllers while cheating on PC to try to hide the fact that they're cheating. Because then they can just be like, no, I'm just like, I'm on a controller, I got lucky aim. And, like, you can tell that he is new. Bro put a capcan trap on this window. Who's going through that? Put it on the other window, too. Oh, my God. I hate it here. They also didn't reinforce a single wall. has solo vision as cap can it's a bug an annoying one at that with match replay where if uh you're the one who submits the match and you're on defense and you have someone with some type of like overlay hud thing it applies to everyone while you activate it which is really dumb yeah he's definitely a controller you can tell every time he 
leans while aiming down sight. As soon as he unaims down sight, it immediately snaps him back. So definitely a controller. Now we just need to find out exactly what cheats he has. Another headshot. That is now his fourth headshot in a row. That one was at least closer to chest level. Bro, bro legs out. No, oh, he's back. He's back. Just aimed at the guy through the wall. No big deal. Common, common pre-aim. What is he doing? Oh, this is annoying. We can't see the outlines. I think that was another complete miss of a headshot that he got. I, don't, I won't watch anymore after this. Like, it, it, it's very obvious this guy is cheating. The shot was over here, and he got a headshot. First bullet. Definitely a soft aim. And some type of walls. Wish I could see. Oh, and. In his defense, so this was a headshot, he did shoot Maverick in the dick. It's a different type of head. It normally doesn't give you a headshot in Siege, but it is a headshot nonetheless. Insta kill, headshot, while aiming at dick level. RIP is dick. Just like 21 jump straight. He just tracked. I assume he just tracked him right through there. I, I can't see because the outlines don't work through bombs, but. Uh, definitely cheating. Very interesting that he used a controller to hide it. I understand why. To make it even harder for people to know, but then he just, like, was blatantly tracking people so like how are you i don't know oh there is him okay uh he is level 58 with a 1.41 ranked kd this was ranked by the way uh doesn't have too much history probably just bought his account start cheating on it right away cheater all right we're going into last match we have constant the jaeger who is accusing andy three four seven six six marla or Marlaris, Marlapris, the Pokemon, 405, and NAGA. I believe, I could be wrong, if I remember the text document correctly, they said Andy and Marlapris uh, were the most obvious cheaters, and then the other guy was just like, there, and terrible. If this guy is cheating too, that's two cheaters in a row, running buck is weird because I feel like Buck's not really a normal operator for people to cheat on. I guess the last guy had soft aim, so that's probably why he did it. Bad recoil gun, you can always just be like, oh yeah, it's just the recoil kicked. Okay. Don't think that was too suspicious. He droned, died. Now we'll watch uh Marlaris, who is the second accused person. Oh, Munion has left the game. Huge flash from Marlaris. Absolutely crucial to the team to flash that. Buck is a great op to cheat on. I'm more so saying like there's a lot of other operators that people will use to cheat because they're either more advantageous to cheat with, for example, a shield operator where you can just like hip fire one tap someone, or um, someone like I don't know, IQ or Armor with an LMG and they'll just spray people through the wall. Buck really doesn't, other than like the ability to just floor bang people with the shotgun and be like, oh, I was just 
opening up the floor. I don't really see the, the huge benefit of running buck. Alright. Constant shredded. I think he killed all three cheaters. Or accused cheaters, I should say. Why is cheating so prevalent in R6? Um, this There's like multiple issues, but I'll, I'll quickly summarize it for you. The number one reason why cheating is so prevalent is because Ubisoft is very, very slow to react. I'll, I'll repeat something that I said years ago and Ubisoft confirmed on Twitter. Ubisoft is reactive instead of proactive. That has since changed slightly. They have worked on being more proactive, but they are primarily reactive. They will find someone who's cheating, like flag that they will get banned, and then ban them two weeks later. Because they'll be like, well, this person started spin botting, but we don't want them to know that we caught them because they were spin botting, so we're going to ban them in two weeks, which lets them cheat for two weeks for free. So that's Ubisoft's biggest problem. Instead of actually being like, okay, this person's cheating, ban them. They just say, let's just let them cheat for a bit and then confuse them by banning them later. As if the person's not going to be like, oh, I know I got banned because I started spin botting. So it's just a very dumb ideology in my opinion. And then the second issue is that uh, since Siege is such an old spaghetti code game, uh, it's very easy to make cheats for, and it's very hard to fix those cheats since it's such an old spaghetti code game. I think that was completely fine. Like, I don't, I didn't see any issue there. Other than, I think for like a millisecond, he might have snapped to Tuberau, but it looked like he was passing over him, so I think it's fine. Oh, he did snap. It was actually like a perfect snap. Holy shit. I thought it was going to be like a Passover one. So like he jumps and he shoots where he was, which is perfectly fine. That's what he should be doing. And then when he pushes up, he actually like his reticle goes directly to the chest, staying with him. And then once he aims on sight, it stops. A little weird. But he like he looked like he reacted. And then he, okay. He looked like he was ready for Jaeger, and then he looked away at the exact moment that Jaeger peaked. Oh, the IQ got two kills that round. I didn't get to see those. Rewind. Droned. Looked fine. I didn't say anything wrong with that. They said that... Let me let me pull up the file again. I'm pretty sure they said that IQ was very bad at the game and walling. In the file, he says Andy is completely blatant. Marlas, their stats are sus. Then the IQ, NAGA, has walls and is terrible. That's th That's the claims they've made. I haven't seen any of that so far, personally. I wouldn't say blatant so far. Do we... Uh, I think we skip four. We'll, we'll skip one round. Okay, let's see how... Doc gets kills. They've been on cams a lot as well, which is not what I would say normal for a cheater. Like, a lot of cheaters don't go on cams at all. They're going on cams on defense and attack. And actually, like, droning out where people are going to be. Sounds like someone's jealous of Andy. I'm always jealous of him. How can these people kill other people? That's my job. Yeah. That was terrible. Justice for Andy. Free Andy. I think, uh... I think if this round isn't sus, we'll go to round 6, and then we'll go to round 9. If, like, if they happen to cheat specifically on rounds 3, 5, 7, and 8, I will be shocked. And then they don't cheat on any other round. That was fine. That was... Oh, he didn't even kill him, actually. That was kind of fine. Oh. Guys. Hold up, we have to pause the hacker replay for one second, okay? You guys already got to see CC. 
big old boy. My son. Look at how much larger he is than Bagel or than CC. Bagel, don't cry. Wave hi to the camera. Bagel boy. For comparison's sake. Look how big he is. Alright. Let's continue watching. I forgot. Hacker replay time. This is the Maverick behind the bomb. Okay, he got a headshot there. Uh, could have been a spray. I don't know. You got four kills. I, I don't. I feel like none of them were really suspicious to me, at least. I, like none of them. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Okay, Andy did not get any kills last round. Marlaris got two. We'll watch round six. If we don't find anything here, we go to round nine. If there's nothing there, I don't think they're cheating. Getting flashbacks to when we faced a doc on coastline who started moving like that, and then he had a kill box and just killed us all. A little sad. Just thanks for sub combi and uh, 300 uh, bits from Itsy Pillis. I'll read the message after. I mean, he kind of like lined up where he was, but honestly, a pretty common spot to peek from because your head is hard to hit there when the angled thing blocks most of your body and stuff. I just want to poke him with the stick and be like, do something. Bro, the audio is bugging out. The odd mm -hmm. Every shot bugs out audio somewhere. Somehow. It's so annoying. The only thing I've noticed this round that I would say would be suspicious is like, he seems very carefree to move around, which generally is a sign of like, someone who knows where everyone is. But I'm also seeing that the enemy team is now reporting everyone, so probably not cheating, I don't know. I guess I'll watch that one kill from Lapras. That was fine. It was Constant who accused them of cheating, and he's 14 and 4. I feel like if they were cheating, he wouldn't have the most kills in the lobby. Okay, so this is round 9. He is 11 and 5. He's doing the exact same spawn kill again, using this camera for audio. He basically did the exact same thing that he did in the last like round that he did that. He tried to like gear for someone, no one came, and then he went back inside and broke the hatch. Like step by step, same thing. Oh, uh, Omar killed someone. I thought he was actually gonna wall bang him. I was like, did he really wait till nine or round nine to just blatantly wall bang someone? But no. 
I don't understand why he's holding the right side of the bathroom door, because no one can come from there unless, like, they're hiding in the stalls for some reason. But why not hold the left side? Seems weird. Seems dumb. Not saying it, like, even makes him a cheater, it's just a dumb decision. I think he's walling. A little bit. He he lined up the ram through the couch. I'm like, okay, that's a little weird. I'll punch back up enough. I'll at least express why I think a certain part of this is weird. So uh, he kills Sledge, whatever, that's fine. He does this weird thing where like he heals, but he's staring almost at the guy there to like see if someone's coming from behind. Uh, but then here, this part's fine. He, like, shoots the ram because he can see her there. He sprays at her, whatever. This part I found a little bit weird because she could easily move. I know she also not move. But he, like, kind of looked at her, then kind of looked at line, and then just one taps her through the couch. I guess her body could be big enough for that. Here's the weird part when I think it's the Amaru pushes in. He basically like follows her. Uh, okay. Uh, breaking it down, it's not as bad. That was a little weird. It was like the perfect movement, perfect aim and positioning. Here he has a camera, so that's fine. Did they get? Oh, they didn't get the feaser down. I was gonna say he has a bunch of zero cams he could put down. What camera do they have? Or are they spotting him? Oh right there. Hmm. I don't know. His position his positioning and movement was a little weird, but when breaking it down it didn't look that bad. Did he not punch the bullet? He's standing right next to the bulletproof. Bro, punch it. It's spotting you. Let me just slow this down a little bit. I think he hipfire headshot him for the final kill. Oh no, it was like a transition shot. A little weird. Eh, we have their real names. We'll look at stats. Stats can usually paint a slightly different picture. Andy's name is apparently C I R U hyphen. Um, level 52 with a 3 KD, but only 8 matches. Not many matches. Like, that is weird stats, like level 52. I know level doesn't mean anything, but like it makes me suspicious when people have a low level because like majority of low level people are just cheating now. This is the guy he was also accusing, the Mar Marleris is Harai Mamori. Uh, and he said he had suspicious stats. It's not like that crazy. 1.8 is high, especially after considering he was like 1, 1, 1, 1. 1.8. That's a little weird, but it's not alarming he said his stats were alarming and then they didn't have the name for the last guy so i don't know i'll admit like the fresh account gives me suspicious vibes but really didn't do too much i'd say his positioning was weird and his like movement was weird i would seem like he always knew where to be and where to push but if he's on a fresh account he could be smurfing but the one guy on his team was a diamond so i don't it's not really a smurfing if you're in diamond the file said he was blatant. I don't think he was blatant. By no means. He wasn't, like, tracking people perfectly and then, like, headshotting them. He had a few weird instances of, like, lining people up through the wall. I still think that one round 
what was it, round two or three, where he, like, locked on to Tuberau and then flicked away was weird, but you could argue that it was just sheer luck, right? I don't know. I'd say inconclusive. I wouldn't say definitive proof either way, so up to up to chat and uh, YouTube to decide. Okay, that's it for Hacker Replay.